Hey, Phantomaniacs, welcome to the newest unboxing here on the Needless Things YouTube channel. Today, at Walmart, I found Moss Man. Actually, I found two Moss Mans. Uh, one for myself and one for our good friend, Mr. Bo Brown. Uh, I actually made a telephone call, which is something I don't ever do. And I said, I've got Moss Man, do you need one? He said, yes, I do. So uh, there were two in the store. I bought both of them. Uh, one for me, one for Bo. And this is the second time in as many weeks that I have purchased something that was way overpriced for what it is. This, like Kersantan, if you want to go back and watch that review for, of the San Diego Comic-Con exclusive Kersantan figure uh, from Star Wars' Vintage Collection, uh, like Kersantan, this Moss Man is $39.99, which is insane! Uh, because these figures, I think they started at fourteen ninety nine, and now they're maybe at seventeen ninety nine. Although at Big Bad, I pay a, a tad more because I'm willing to get because Big Bad gets them and they get them early. It's worth it to me. Uh, but forty dollars for this seems nuts. However, we're going to take it out. We're going to take a look at it and and try and figure some things out. Because uh, there may be a reason it's 40 bucks. Uh, this is beautiful special packaging. Obviously, this is very different from the normal Masters of the Universe Origins packaging. Uh, it's a window box rather than a blister card. It's got the gorgeous art up here at the top. Moss Man, heroic spy and master of camouflage. Look at this tree guy over here. That's He, he looks alarmed. I guess because he sees this, this creature back here sneaking up on old Moss Man. And then we've got... Is that uh, Turbodactyl flying around up there? It looks a little small, but maybe. Uh, and then the back, of course, our Eternia playset that'll be here sometime next year. I'm very excited about that. What a review that's going to be. Oh my gosh. Look at that. I don't know. I, I have no idea what that thing is called. Uh, you guys, please do tell me in the comments. Uh, because, I mean, I was... I was barely into Masters of the Universe, aside from the cartoon when I was a kid, because I had to pick a main toy line, and G.I. Joe was it for me. Uh, so I don't know all of the uh, the dinosaurs' names, and I certainly don't know the name of the brontosaurus with a gun in its belly. That's wild, and I want a figure of it very bad, or a toy of it very badly. Probably not going to happen, because my gosh, look how big that thing would be, but that would be great. Uh, man, I, lo I love the packaging. I love the attention to detail. I just everything about this line is top-notch. This is, to me, still the best mass-market retail toy line of this century. Uh, all right, on the back. Oh, look at this. We've got gorgeous, uh, rather than a cross-sell. Why wasn't this Mattel Creations? Doesn't this feel like a Mattel Creations release? Like, it really does to me. I, I don't... Uh, I don't know, just knocked over a can of spray paint down there. I don't know if you guys heard that or not. Um, this feels like Mattel Creations. It does not feel... It certainly doesn't feel like a Walmart exclusive. Blah. Uh, so gorgeous art on the back. I love the gloss... Look, it's... He's not Moss Man. He's Gloss Man uh, on this art. Uh, and then you've got some Snake Men over here, which this is... Uh, they made this guy in classics. He's from an episode of the cartoon. I can't remember his name, and I don't remember him being a snake, so that might be some new mythology there. Uh, and then this cobra guy that I think we saw a picture of at San Diego Comic-Con. I'm not positive. I apologize for, for some of my lack of knowledge of Masters of the Universe lore. Uh, it, it's just, it, I, I love this line dearly, but I, I can't say, well, and I love classics. That's just my memory is just garbage now, I guess, really is all I can say. All right, let's open this guy up. Ah, what is his name? Tell me in the comments. Ooh, look at that fancy little flap action going on there. Okay, so flap opens up, and look at that. What a box. And our interior uh, tray, nice blue color. I'll probably use blue for my thumbnail on him because it'll contrast with everything quite nicely. Uh, and he is just sitting right... Oh, look at how fancy this is. Why wasn't this man Poison from the Stars? That is an incredible title for a mini-comic. Uh, why wasn't this a Creations exclusive? Uh, so I'm, gonna, I'm actually going to read... I read all of these. I love them. They're incredible. Uh, 
The artwork is beautiful. The writing is a lot of fun and very real to the franchise. Uh, you'll notice Mossman is very groody here, although that goes back to the 2002. Uh, gosh, look, look at the dinosaurs. Oh man, I want those all to be released as toys. Anyway, mini comics are great. Uh, and here is Mossman. Doesn't look like there are any little plastic tabby things holding him in place. Uh, he is just in this tray, which is another very Mattel Creations move. Yeah, no tabs. He's just in that tray. Uh, which is good, because I don't want any of his mossiness rubbed off anywhere in any way. All right, so now I'm looking in the tray, and what I wanted to see is if any of his little mossy fur came off, and some of it did. I don't know if you can see. Yeah, you, you can probably see right up here. You can see the little pieces of fur that are in the plastic. It's fine. I mean, I 100% I expected that, and it is not a problem at all. I was just curious to see how well this stuff was attached to the figure. And... Uh, perhaps how much I'm going to have to clean up my workspace when I'm done here. Maybe I should have reviewed him last today. So here is where I wonder if just the the flocking... Okay, well wait. First we've got to do a smell test. So, uh, I want you to put your nose right up on the screen. Right up on that screen. Get Are you, are you there? Are you up on the screen? Let's see how mossy fresh he is. Oh, wow. That's, uh, did you smell that? That's, that's a nice pine scent. Hang on. That's not a, an obnoxious, like, pine saw smell. That's actually a rather pleasant pine scent. Uh, the flocking feels incredible, and look how thick it is. Uh... know where my master's stuff is I don't know if he's going to come apart should I do it yes he does at least there I'm not but I'm not taking any of the rest of him apart he didn't include the line art that most of these figures come with uh, to indicate and and I'll be honest I'm not going to mess with his articulation any more than I have to because the thoroughness with which they've flocked this figure is pretty incredible. If you can see, it's all up in the joints. I mean, he is really, really flocked. Oh gosh, I hate to, I hate to move some of these. Because I don't want to end up with, like, bare shoulders. But, I mean, this this stuff is... Oh, wow. He is something else. I mean, look. It's all up in his armpits. It's just everywhere. I mean, they, they have coated this figure with moss fur. And it's really impressive. Oh gosh, that was terrifying. That noise, I don't know if you guys, you guys probably couldn't hear it, but there was just a ratcheting noise. I'm not even going to bend that knee. And and this is not, usually I'm very comfortable. Uh, yeah, this is what I should have done. I should have reviewed this, really put it through the paces, and then if it survived, offered Bo the one that I didn't open. <laughs> just to be sure. Um... Uh, but I just love this figure. It's not... I, uh, it is going to be up to your discretion whether you consider this a toy or not. If you have a child that is collecting Masters of the Universe Origins uh, and you want to give them a $40 Moss Man, that is up to you. I am not going to tell you yes or no on whether you should do that. But for me, this figure is mostly going to be for display. I mean, well, most of my figures are mostly for display. 
Oh, my fingers are piney fresh now. I'm going to have to wash my hands before I do my next review. Uh, you know, the, this flocking may stand the test of time. It may deal... Look how bright it is. And look at the multiple colors. The dark and the light greens that are blended in there. Uh, this really is a fun, fun toy. Uh... You know that it, it's it's up to you what you do with it. If you treat it as a toy, you go for it, and I hope it lasts forever and ever and ever on you. Uh, but I, I'm going to do a little bit of posing, figure out how I like him, and put him on the shelf. So we've got this is our basic figure, and it's incredible. Uh, but he also comes with a number of accessories. Uh, he's got a spiked ball. It's just kind of posed the way these are. Looks good. Oh, and look, this is, there's a, there's a attach. This is where the parts attach. They could put something different on the end of this if they wanted to and use it uh, for a different weapon. Uh, he's got that signature club that we know from all of the different Masters Universe sets that have had it. I've got an alternate portrait with, uh, so wait, this is the Beast Man head, but this isn't like a particularly Moss Man looking head. I guess it's, I don't know, it's not flocked. Uh, I won't be using this one. It looks cool. It's fine, but I honestly would rather have had a more Moss Man-y head. Uh, with a kindler, gentler face, kind of like they did for classics. But, you know, whatever. Uh, he has got an interchangeable left hand with a C-grip. And then he has got the Beast Man armor that was in, I think, one of the accessory packs that they did. I won't be using this on him, but let's put it on just to see what it looks like. Because I think the yellow will look pretty, pretty good. A little mossy. We'll match his belt. I'm glad that this isn't on him in the packaging because it would have left dents uh, in the moss. Let's see. I never know if those are supposed to go up or down. And, and also it doesn't really matter. Uh, so, that well, they're probably supposed to go up because then the fasteners are in the back. So that's what he looks like with that. I will not be displaying him that way, but I do like having the yellow beast man gear. That's pretty neat. So there is, there is Moss man, a uh, good number of accessories. I'm not going to switch out, uh, the head and I'm not even, I'm not even going to switch out the left hand because I, he's just going to be carrying the club. I think I don't even think I'm going to use this. Uh, so there he is. He's great. Is he worth 40 bucks? I mean, I guess I say yes, because I had to have him. I think he's great in hand. And the way that they flocked him, I can believe, was a pretty significant cost to Mattel. Maybe not 40 bucks cost, but uh, th this is... I would say this is the highest quality Moss Man we've ever gotten. And I'm thrilled to have him. So there you go. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, share, tell your friends about Needless Things. Keep an eye out for Moss Man and other uh, exclusives in stores near you, I guess. And always check in because we got all the new reviews, all the weird toys, everything you want to see here at Needless Things. Until next time, there's a problem in the trees. Smash that like button if you like needless things.